Uh, will people be able to distinguish between the virtual and the real words? Or will it won't be an issue anymore? And more specifically, will it be necessary to teach our children uh, about the difference between those words? Or it will be a second nature to them? All the parents will really not like my answer, but I think that if we're trying to keep this kind of classic narrative of, of here's the story, here's the fairy tale, if that's what virtual is, that's not real, I think that we're already lost in, this, in, the, in the fairy tale. That the things that we do, our actions, they're actual things. So if you do it virtually and you send a hideous mean message to someone on a text message, or via Facebook. So these are digital platforms and you can say to a certain extent Facebook is a virtual space. The real world consequences of having done something really hateful or mean are real world consequences. So if, if you think about kind of the daily life examples of how we use um, digital media and virtual platforms, we see every day that they have actual consequences. So what I argue in my research is that um, there is no separate space away. We can have game spaces where we play and what you're playing at in this world is you've got battles and people can be killed and these kinds of things and it's marked as a game but increasingly the things that we do that are virtually manifested, they have actual consequences in our real lives.